been retired Supreme Court Justice William Atuguba has dismissed allegations that he was biased towards the opposition NDC during the time he served as a justice of the Apex Court. So, section of the, a section of the Ghanaian uh, populace accused the retired justice of being biased after leading a nine-member uh, panel of judges to adjudicate the 2012 election uh, petition uh, ruling in favor of the NDC, which validated the EC's declaration of John Mahama as victor of the presidential elections then. Speaking to join News on the sidelines of a lecture to honor him for his commitment and dedication to the nation, he describes the allegations as unfortunate. Well, uh, since that ruling, uh, there has not been further appointment, but some are in the offing as we know. And so we scan the horizon and um, uh, try to know the, the background facts about the appointees and then uh, match them against the criteria we uh, legally try to set in that judgment uh, in the interest of the country. Uh -huh. so that's what I can say. Now, four new judges have been appointed by the president. Some say that uh, they were appointed because they decided to dismiss Shalotose. So the, the appointment, in a way, is a kind of a, a reward to the judges. Oh, well, that much, I, I don't know, because uh, Nene Megache was certainly not on that committee. Mm. Yeah, two, two of not, them were not on the, on they, the committee. They were not. Um, Senu Ma 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 Mal Kafui or... Uh, uh, Dozi. Yeah, well, do Dozi on. Yeah, do she do was. Yeah, do uh, was but uh, Marfa Sound. Yeah, Marfa Sound was also on the committee, exactly. Was on the committee. Exactly. The two of them. Exactly. Oh, well, but uh, <laughs> yes, yes, because, I mean, uh, let's look at it the other way around. If you have no other misgiving, uh, other than what you're pointing to, will it be fair uh, by dint of sheer coincidence to deny people who are competent and very well qualified for the position? Mm. Because, you see, uh, service to the nation is a continuing uh, matter. It will engulf uh, persons either outside the judiciary or on the judiciary from time to time. And uh, if we want to go by what she has saying, then uh, it means that whenever somebody uh, serves uh, either on the bench or before uh, in a matter that uh, concerns the government, then automatically uh, he's a, a tainted person. That will be too far-fetched. So clearly the president did no wrong by appointing them, Claire. Well, by all, I, I don't know any uh, visiting <laughs> factors mm -hmm. concerning these people, mm -hmm. yeah, apart from what you were alluding to. Okay. And I, I don't think that um, that points to anything, uh, because you must get some people to do it. Mm -hmm. and. Not just people, competent people. So if they are competent to do that work, and uh, you need competent people for, for, for the Supreme Court, should their competence uh, suddenly, <laughs> you know. But do you have any regrets um, serving as a Supreme Court judge? Well, no, not, not as such. But uh, what is worrying is uh, the, the fact that uh, some members of the public don't even appreciate that the judiciary is their stronghold of their own welfare and protection and future. And so uh, making very wild, malicious allegations. They imagine that uh, when we're on <laughs> this uh, presidential uh, election, petition. election petition. All sorts of things were being said. We took five million dollars by or what, what, what? what? They are not true. Oh, mm. impossible. <laughs> impossible. Mm. 
Now, if that were true, mm. why is the matter left, mm. uh, you know, uh, unattended to? I mean, but there's this culture of uh, impunity in the name of uh, freedom of expression uh, without noticing the prejudicial effect on the institutions they are attacking and which are there primarily for their own interests, the interests of the public. And so when you weaken and pull down these institutions, why is your protection? See, because you are accused of being an NDC person <laughs> <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, <laughs> I'll cut this short. I heard from time to time. I, at the beginning, uh, people were saying that because I was appointed by NDC, I was prone. When I started giving judgment against them, then I had any people say I was pro MPP, and when I gave judgment, I guess, then you see what I mean. All I appeal to those who are thinking that way is that they should take all the judgments I have written and then try to subsume them politically. They will, they will get the answer from them. But if you leave it to the conscience of the people, clearly they, they can make their own interpretation and own inference, yeah. which wouldn't really uh, yeah. be in your interest, uh, my lord. Well, but uh, what can I say beyond that? I'm at their mercy. I'm only saying that this is the yardstick they can use fairly to evaluate. If they choose not to, what is my power See. over them? See. But if they do it that way, I cannot see <laughs> how any reasonable person can apply that tact to me. Mm -hmm. no. 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 Justice William Matuguba retired on the 1st of July 2018 after 22 years with the judiciary. He is among the longest serving justices of the Supreme Court of this nation.